Hi guys. We got to the cabin last night at about a quarter to twelve. It's about a five hour drive from home to get up here. I loaded stuff in last night and uh, thought I would just make a quick video taking you guys in the cabin, showing you around. So, we're going to go in here. This is the screened in porch. And it's a mess because, well, there's six of us in the family and this place isn't that big. So there's a lot of storage there. That's Kavik. I don't think you've met him yet. Yep. Say good boy. Yeah. All right. So it's chilly this morning. It was 52 degrees. So I started a fire in the wood burner. This is the newest part of the cabin with the screen porch you just saw. The person we bought the cabin from four years ago, I think, put this on 50 years ago. There's the kitchen area. It's tiny. But it serves a purpose. I am going to build new cabinets and do new counters and that kind of stuff. But uh, it's somewhere on that list of things that need to get done. So originally this was all paneling with a maybe 5% drywall throughout the cabin. There was a 1960s open face retro fireplace here that my wife loved but the insurance company didn't. So I took that out, put in a new slate floor and backdrop and put in a wood burner. We took all the paneling out and put in tongue and groove on the walls and on the ceiling throughout most of the cabin. It's a bathroom. We have a, a well, so we have running water. We have a septic system, so we do have a toilet. Years ago, there would have been an outhouse. Um, let's see. That cluster of three birch trees right there, about 25 feet directly behind that and slightly to the right is where the outhouse would have been. Oh. So in here we went with uh, the cedar, that's the aromatic cedar on the walls. And then it's drywall on the bottom. And we do have electric baseboard heat, but I prefer the wood burner. It's a tiny bathroom, but it serves a purpose. And then this area would have been a porch that was put on sometime after the original cabin was built 70 or 80 years ago. And then I came in and put this wall in here with the pocket door. So my wife and I would have some privacy on our own very little room. But again, this room is used primarily to sleep. There was paneling over that wall that is the original siding to the original cabin that's 70 or 80 years old. I put uh, Old English lemon oil on it and just thought it was beautiful. So I left it like that. I added a his and hers cabinets that I built. There's hers. For storage closet space, hanging clothes, putting clothes, um, 
again the aromatic cedar from floor to ceiling in here and tongue and groove pine board for the ceiling so, so this became hallway and then this is the kids room that's a great bunk room this was the original cabin we've got two bunk beds in here and then a regular twin bed that's extra for guest right now that light is out it's burnt out and instead of putting a new bulb I brought some ceiling fans that I took out of the house at home and I'm gonna replace that with a ceiling fan this weekend while we're here so here's the bunks back that way there's the closet the paneling in here where there are three different colors of paneling they ranged from a dark walnut kind of like those closet doors to a really light almost a natural cream look and you know there's nothing wrong with paneling if you like it I prefer the pine board and think I think it looks nice so This is the biggest room, I would say. I'm sure the living room is bigger, but if you take the kitchen off, this feels bigger. So, anyway, that's a quick walkthrough of the cabin. Thanks for watching. See you later.